so we're talking about baptism and what's kind of cool is uh, there was a gal from uh, Carmen from Mexico and um, she watches the show and she's part of the gathering. And we did a Go Ye Therefore conference last year. And you came up to me and you were so excited. You said, David, you're going to love this. Um, we have a young lady that came all the way from Mexico, flew in, and she's coming to the conference and she wants to get baptized. The, the reason I'm bringing that up is because, <clears throat> excuse me, what is the reason for a person, the number one reason in your opinion, or according to scripture, that a person should be baptized, Pastor? Well, they should be baptized as a public testimony of their faith in Christ. It's, it's something that you do subsequent to salvation. Okay, okay. And is it, um, do you have to be baptized in order to receive the Holy Spirit? Because Peter clearly talked about that in Acts. Can you give me some clarification on that? Well, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, David, is actually the, the process of regeneration, or as Greg said, being born again. You're born again by the Spirit, and that's, that's what Paul wrote to the Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, when he was talking about, for by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. That's not water baptism, that's spirit baptism. So that, that brings us into who makes us part of the body of Christ. And that's the process of salvation, being born again, being made a new creation in Christ. Um, all of those phrases okay. are, are what's meant there. Okay, but how do, you, how do you get baptized with the Holy Spirit? What does that feel like? What does it look like? Well, it's by faith. Now, and, and let me say this, David, for some of the gatherers, there's some confusion when it comes to repentance. There, there are folks with different ideas. Is it repent and believe, or is repentance actually belief? Is repentance faith? Is it something subsequent to salvation? So this question, my understanding and my view of the scriptures is that repentance, it, it, is, it is a changing of your mind concerning Christ, certainly. But it is, it is more than that in the sense that repentance is actually equivalent to faith when you change your mind about who christ is you you are placing your faith in him based on that turning away from your old self that's the that's the born again experience so the spirit the holy spirit works in that moment in that regeneration and brings you into salvation that's that's a, a, a dumbed down theological explanation david okay Okay, but correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't uh, John the Baptist say that I baptize you? I'm paraphrasing. I baptize you with water, but uh, and again, I'm I'm paraphr But but Jesus baptized you with fire. Yep, didn't, that's that's ex yep. yeah, that's he sure did, and and that is so, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So, baptizing with fire. I mean, is that literal fire? Because we know fire came down from heaven in the Book of Acts. I mean. Can we have well, fire come down upon us with the Holy Spirit? Yeah, and I think that fire is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. That's, that's what lighted on the heads of all the disciples. It was a fire from God, the Holy Spirit. Um, it's, it's a picture of the Holy Spirit falling on people. Okay, so I want you guys in chat to tell me who has gotten fire upon their head of the Holy Spirit. I want to know, I want to know if you got burnt <laughs> up or not. Your hair was singed. Uh, now, this is what, and again, I want to clarify this, this fire, I have never had fire come down on me. Now, I've had the passion of Christ come on me, you know, the, the, the spirit come on me, but I've never had the fire. I mean, what does that mean to have fire come on you? Well, I think it is the passion the and, and fire remember david it, it symbolizes the holy spirit certainly but fire also uh, symbolizes a process of purification and so as we are born again and the spirit indwells us we are purified all, all of our sins are, are washed clean through faith in christ and so that fire purifies as well okay all right my last question 
is um, do you believe the body of Christ Christians today understand and approach baptism in the way that God really wants us to understand it and approach it? Um, it's a two-part question. That's one. Number two is does the when we do approach it correctly, does it give us any better understanding, any more ability to step into the supernatural? So it's a two-part question. Are we approaching it correctly today? And when we do approach it correctly, does it enhance our spiritual immunity? Okay, so the uh, first part of the question, I, I would say, no, we're not. And this is why I, I believe that we're not approaching it correctly. In the early church, David, believers were brought into the body and baptized only after they went through a process. Uh, and I hesitate to use this word because I don't want it confused with other flavors of religions or systems, but a catechism, a, a, a time of teaching and uh, study and what it means to be a Christian. And the baptism then brought those people into the full membership, the full body of Christ that signified that they understood what it meant to walk with Christ, what it meant to be a disciple. So we don't do that today. If people make a profession of faith, well, we want to throw them in the water without any instruction on, on counting the cost of being a disciple. So that's the first part of it. So the answer to your second okay. question is, is that if, if we would approach it correctly in the first place, that people would, would, would invest much more into their baptism. They would see it as much more significant for their spiritual walk. And I think they would take their faith much more seriously after that in long term. So hopefully that answers your questions. Yeah, it did. Thank, yeah, thank you very much. You talk about what other pastors, so-called ministers, don't talk about. I'm just so grateful for the work that you have done. So thankful for everything that you're doing and fighting for us in Hollywood. Stop playing church. It's time to be the church. And that's what I love about it.